It's a good day for singing the song, and it's a good day.
morning and welcome aboard the Dollywood Express. My name's Caleb and I'll be your conductor on the back of the train for this trip up the mountain. And we'll be departing here in just a few moments as soon as we get an all clear from our depot master. Depot master, let us know when we have an all clear, please. Folks, the cable overhead is for medical emergencies only. If there is a true medical emergency, please pull down on the cord for two seconds and release. After the cable has been pulled, the conductor will acknowledge that the pull cord has been pulled and will notify the engine crew and the EMTs to prepare an emergency response. The train will not stop. We will quickly proceed to the nearest first aid location. Do not pull the cable for lost cell phones, cameras, etc. The train will not stop for these items. Hey everybody, please wear your masks all the way up on your nose the entire time you're on the train ride with us here. And also, a cinder in the eye is not considered a medical emergency, so please do not pull the cord if you happen to get a cinder in your eye. I know it might feel like a medical emergency, but it's not. If you pull the cord and it's not a medical emergency, we'll make one for you. Now that we are moving, y'all in the last couple cars here can wave goodbye to our depot, Master Paul. He's up here in the middle of the depot on the left-hand side. Tell Paul we'll see him in about a day or two, a week at the most. But we've never been gone longer than a week. Bye, Paul. Now here at Dogwood, we're known as the friendliest place in the Smokies, except us on the train to keep it that way. So as we roll out of town on the count of three, let's give these folks a great big southern howdy. Ready? One, two, three. Howdy! Good job, everyone. We'll try that again a little bit later on. Now coming up on your right here is going to be Dogwood's Old Fashioned Grist Mill. It's one of the last operating grist mills left around today. That's the home of that world famous cinnamon bread. If you haven't tried any of that cinnamon bread, you definitely need to. I'd get two loaves up because one's not going to make it back to the car. Maybe I'll just keep on waving and being friendly with everybody, and I'll tell you a little bit about this rolling piece of history you're riding behind. In May of 1938, the Marble Locomotive Works out of Eddie Stone, Pennsylvania built our narrow gauge Mikado style engine number 70. She weighs a little over 230,000 pounds and is a genuine coal-fired, steam-driven type 282 locomotive. Now 282 simply means she's got two small wheels in the front, eight larger drive wheels in the middle, and two small wheels in the back. After engine number 70 was built, she was shipped up to the White Pass and Yukon Railroad of Skagway, Alaska. December the 7th, 1941, came the attack on Pearl Harbor and U.S. involvement in World War II. After the attack in Hawaii, it was determined that a military highway would be needed to protect Alaska from an invasion. So in 1942, the United States Army took over the White Pass Yukon Railroad and used it to move the materials and the personnel needed to build the Alcan Military Highway. And engine number 70 was then commissioned into the U.S. Army. Thousands tons of supplies, along with thousands of troops and other personnel, travel behind this engine and others like her. There was up to 34 trains a day in support of the road construction, and in only nine months, what they said to be impossible became possible. The Alcan Military Highway was completed. Bet y'all didn't realize you're being pulled up this mountain by a true veteran of World War II. Here at Dollywood, we're proud of all of our veterans from all branches of the military, and our thoughts and prayers go out to those on active duty today. Everybody, please wear your masks. Do we have any veterans on the train with us today? Veterans, raise your hands, everyone. Let's give these folks a round of applause. Thank you for serving our country, and God bless each and every one of you. In 1946, the United States Army left Skagway, Alaska, and the White Pass and Yukon Railroad was once again a civilian operation. In the 70s, the other locomotives were now used to haul tourists and commodities instead of troops and building supplies. In 1954, the White Pass and Yukon Railroad purchased their first diesel locomotive, which would ultimately spell doom for the steam engines. In 
age of 70 remained in service until 1963 when she was retired. And after sitting in storage for 14 years, in 1977 she was sold to an East Tennessee theme park named Silver Dollar City, Tennessee. And that's when she affectionately became known as Cinderella. Well, Cinderella has remained with us through the years and the evolution of the park from Silver Dollar City, Tennessee, on to the present day Dollywood, where she continues her tradition of hard work. Now y'all just sit back and relax and listen to Cinderella pour us up this here mountain. Coming up on the right here in this clearing, you're going to be able to see where we make all the hand sanitizer for the park. This hand sanitizer is guaranteed to clean you inside and out. never know, we might see a bear up in here somewhere. They've been known to come down this far every now and again, so keep an eye out. the financial district. If you look to your right, there's a bank. And if you look to your left, there's another bank. Y'all better laugh now. That's the best joke in this whole ride. flowering plants and trees than anywhere else in the United States. Even in the air, you can hear the music of over 200 different species of birds. The Smokies are a never-ending song that changes with each season and with each pair of eyes. Folks, that green fence over there in the field, that's where they'll be shooting off the fireworks tonight. Everybody be sure to stick around and watch the fireworks. They'll be going off at 940 tonight. Now here at Dollywood, we're awful proud of Cinderella. She works real hard every day pulling lots of people up this mountain and back. We're proud of her so much, we like to let her show off every now and again. So how about it, everybody? Would y'all like to hear the engineer play a tune on that central of Georgia Crosby three-chime whistle? All right, then, on the count of three, let's all tell the engineer to blow the whistle. Ready? One, two, three. Blow the whistle! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Well, folks, as we round the curve here, if you look off your left above the tree line up there, you'll be able to see just a portion of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. You can understand why the Cherokee called them place of the blue smoke. The Smoky Mountains are the natural habitat. The Smoky Mountains were established as a national park back in 1934 and is the most visited national park in the country with around 12 million visitors last year. Now way back at the dawn of the 20th century, there was over 1,200 farms up in these mountains, and each homestead consisted of basically the same thing. It's kind of like what's coming up on the left here. There was a main house where the family lived, a smokehouse where they hung and cured their meat, a chicken house where they gathered their eggs, and they also had a spring house. It's where they kept the things like the milk and the butter cold. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. They did have one other house back then. It was called the outhouse. Now kids, you don't know what an outhouse is used for? I'm going to let you ask your parents about that one. If they look a little confused, ask your grandparents. They'll know what it was used for. While you're at it, ask them about the woodshed. But if they don't want to tell you about the woodshed, it's probably because the memories are just too painful. Now coming up on your left through the trees, that little green roller coaster down there, that's the Fire Chaser Express. It's a dual launch roller coaster. It goes forwards and backwards. Top speed of about 34 and a half miles an hour. You'll need to be 39 inches tall to ride. No loops, no drops, just lots of fast moving curves, which makes it a great family ride. The big blue roller coaster up there, that's the Wild Eagle. It soars 21 stories over the floor of the Smoky Mountains. You'll drop 13 stories right into a 110 foot giant loop. That speeds of almost 65 miles an hour. How many of you the Wild Eagle? Raise your hands, everybody. Oh, it's not bad. Now, who's a big chicken and not going to ride the wild eagle? There are chickens all over the train. Down in the wild eagle merchandise shop, you can get you a black yellow t-shirt. And on it, it says, I'm a chicken. Well, coming up on down the line here, you're going to see Wildwood Grove. It's the newest addition here at Dollywood. It features 11 brand new attractions and experiences for the whole family. Be sure to go check it out.
from Timber Canyon. That's home to Dollywood's five-time award-winning wooden roller coaster, the Thunderhead. It's also the home of the Mystery Mine. That's still roller coaster with high speeds, by Knuckle Winston, an 85-foot drop straight down a mine shaft. Better get to bathroom before you get on that one. where she sleeps at night. This building coming up on your right to a full service train shop. That shop along with our engine crew can totally rebuild the engine from the wheels all the way up to the smokestack. Over here on the left country fair, they got lots of rides, games, and food. Kids, you can go over there and play a game, bring a big stuffed animal, and your mom and dad will carry it around for you for the rest of the day. They don't mind a bit. Once again, folks, we would like to remind you to please remain seated until it is safe to exit. Please bear with us for a few moments when we stop. We have a few passengers on our last car that we'd like to give a little bit of a head start before everyone else exits. Thank you and enjoy yourself here at Hollywood. Well, folks, our week long train rides come to an end, so now they get time for you to gather up all your friends and belongings, backpacks, cameras, jumping bags, stuffed animals, children. Yeah, please don't forget your children. We had to take a few of the lost and found the other day. If you can't really do any trash along the way, be sure to drop it off in the barrels located up and down the boardwalk. But as we come back into the depot, I need everyone to please remain seated. I will let you know when it's safe for you to exit. Please remain seated, everyone. Keep going, keep going. Stop, stop. Remain seated, everybody.